asking the governor of a state that's about to get lashed with one of the most historic hurricanes we've ever seen? Is she crazy? He did not ignore I think she her was, call. She was he talking, did not ignore just to be call. clear, she was talking broadly about the politicization of the storms. Uh, I think she was talking about Ron DeSantis. He did not ignore her call. And in fact, according to what I've read tonight, he actually spoke to the president of the United States. He Joe did speak Biden. with President Biden. And he, has, and he has said time and again that he and the federal government are working well together. So who here is politicizing this? Yeah, I hate, I hate to agree with Scott on anything, but, uh, but <laughs> I, I agree. I, I agree in this case. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all having a great and wonderful day. It seems that next week will be a more easier period for me as, uh, you know, as we go into that area because it's just been a very, very rough and long, strenuous week that I haven't been able to get any content out. I apologize for that. Hopefully it's calmed down to where I can do this. So what we have here is Kamala Harris just straight up just trying to make a political game out of this with Ron DeSantis about the Hurricane Milton, which already passed. I know this is something that uh, um, that has already gone and gone over, but I just wanted to clarify, go over a few things and see on how desperate and how bad this person is. The fact that she's making a political game out of this, out of the entire like hurricane, is disgusting. And this is kind of the way that she acts. So this is what she was going with here with these, this whole political game type stuff. Governor DeSantis, NBC is reporting Governor DeSantis is ignoring your calls on hurricanes, resources, and, and help. Okay, how does that hurt the situation here? You know, moments of crisis, if, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone who calls themselves a leader says they're going to put politics aside and put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now. And playing political games at this moment in these crisis situations, these are the height of emergency situations. It's just utterly irresponsible and it is selfish and it is about political gamesmanship instead of doing the job that you took an oath to do, which is to put the people first. So this was Kamala's statement on to Ron DeSantis of him not caring about the people when he clearly does, and her making this more of a political statement than anything, which is actually disgusting. This is the response that Ron DeSantis has had, and a few, a bit of a montage of kind of like what she has said, what Joe Biden has said, and a re Ron DeSantis' response, and we'll have a few other responses as well that has been made and it, it's kind of pretty much a slam dunk to where Ron DeSantis just completely obliterates her in every single regard of this topic here. There was uh, some praise that came your way from President Biden. All I can tell you is I'm talking to Governor DeSantis. He's been very gracious. Uh, and said that the, they had spoken, you had spoken. Then there was this brouhaha over uh, Vice President Harris apparently reaching out to you uh, or and maybe and not taking the call and this whole thing, uh, accusations that this had all become politicized. It's just utterly irresponsible and it is selfish and it is about political gamesmanship. Can you just speak to what happened there? I am working with the President of the United States. I'm working with the Director of FEMA. I'm marshalling all my state assets. We've been doing this now nonstop for over two weeks between Helene and this. And so if there's anything I can leverage to benefit my people, uh, I'm going to do it. The fact of the matter is they put out a story saying I didn't take, I didn't even know she was trying to reach me, but she has no role in this process. And I've been dealing with these storms in Florida under both Trump and Biden. Neither of them ever politicized it. And in fact, all the storms I've dealt with under this administration, although I've worked well with the president, she has never called in Florida. She has never offered any support. So what she's doing is she's trying to inject herself into this because of her political campaign. So as the governor here who's leading this, I don't have time for those games. I don't care about her campaign. Obviously, I'm not a supporter of hers, but she's not. She has no role in this process. And so I'm working with the people I need to be working with. Uh, we're leveraging the resources I need to be leveraging. Um, and for her to try to say that my focus should be on catering to her, 
rather than worrying about my own people, just so she doesn't understand uh, what it means to respond to these natural disasters. Yeah, so as you can see there, uh, Ron, DeSantis, Ron DeSantis pretty much just torture on this matter. And even Joe Biden has come out and praised Ron DeSantis on the actual, on his job of actually dealing with the hurricane in particular. So what we have here is just a woman that is trying to help her campaign make things political when they shouldn't be and this is the kind of person that she is like i don't know what else to tell people if kamala harris is just trying to make this something more political than it needs to be where especially when people's lives are on the line it's just not gonna work it's just a very bad look and even Joe Biden, which I'm starting to think here is just a completely against Kamala Harris. He hates her. He despises her because he just goes back and stabs her in the back over this. The governor of Florida has been cooperative. He said he's gotten all that he needs. I talked to him again yesterday. And I, and I said, whatever you, I said, no, you're doing a great job. It's being all being done well. We thank you for it. And I literally gave my personal phone number to call. Um, so I don't know. There was a rough start in some places, but every governor, every governor from Florida to North Carolina has been fully cooperative and supportive and acknowledge what this team is doing. And they're doing an incredible job. But we got a lot more to do. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, where I'm starting to think to where Joe Biden is just completely and utterly hates Kamala because she, he really just bashed that right in the back. He took the knife, took it, and stabbed her in the back, and just released, and it's just, it, it, it really just made Kamala Harris look like an absolute buffoon, like an absolute idiot that she would go out and make this political when there was no point being made. Now, we have some more things here from Ron DeSantis that uh, I kind of want to show you guys because it really shows on how strong his response was on the actual matter at hand here. So without further ado, here's, uh, here's his response. This is, this, is, this is the response that we would have with, you know, particularly with him uh, talk about he didn't even know about the phone call in the first place. So we'll do this response and then the response afterwards. Aware of that? And if so, how are you not aware of that? Uh, so Biden called me a couple days ago with Helene when I was on the helicopter. Uh, I didn't have any issues. They had helped us with what we've done. I'm not aware that he's tried to call uh, since then. Certainly hasn't called my phone, so I don't know quite where they're getting uh, that information. At the same time, we got the approvals that we need. If there's something else that we need, you know, I'll hop on the phone very quickly, uh, whether that's a FEMA administrator or the president, uh, and we will press the case to be able to get approvals for what we need in Florida. But we have gotten approvals for everything that we've asked for. Right in this area? I didn't know that she had called, so I, I'm not sure who they called. They didn't call me, um, and their characterization of it um, was something that they did. It wasn't anything that uh, anybody in my, my office did in terms of saying that it was political. Given, given, the, given the severity this morning, since I, I did want to ask you about, about politics right now in terms of should, should – No, I don't really want to answer questions about This is not a time for politics. No, excuse me, Gary. You and your publication will twist anything that's done to try to make a political agenda. That's what you do. That's how you get your clicks. I understand that. I understand that's the business model. Well, but, but I don't want to talk about politics because, well, but I have a feeling that however you do, you guys will find a way to frame it. That's just your shtick. I get it. It's fine. Uh, but I don't want to participate in it. Uh, we have had to respond to a Category 4 hurricane. We've had to prepare and now respond to something that may hit uh, as a major hurricane, maybe Category 4, may even be bigger than that. We hope that it, that it does, uh, but that should be the focus. And I think some of these questions are trying to create uh, some type of political angle where there's just none there. What we've asked for has been approved. You're not seeing me out there carping or complaining about anything. Uh, we have gotten what we need from the feds. Uh, we have been working constructively with all the local communities. We have marshaled an incredible amount of resources in the state of Florida to be able to get the job done. And that's just what we're going to continue to do. That's what we've always done uh, when it comes to these types of situations. Yeah, pretty much just Ron DeSantis torching Kamala Harris. And, by the way, he didn't even know that he called. He didn't get him any message or anything about that. So we have to consider of whether or not that 
Ron, if Ron DeSantis even got a call from Kamala Harris, and I, I don't even know if that he did from the sounds of it. And even worse, this is the biggest roast that he's done so far was he completely let it uh, destroy Kamala Harris in the Fox News uh, area here where he's talking about it because it, it, it really just shows on how disgenuous and how bad Kamala Harris has really been about this whole situation. Been laser focused on leveraging all resources available, including from the federal government. And I've been in touch with both FEMA and the president, as well as marshalling all our state agencies and working to support our local communities. And so for Kamala Harris uh, to try to say that my sole focus on the people of Florida is somehow selfish uh, is delusional. She has no role in this. Uh, in fact, she's been vice president for three and a half years. I've dealt with a number of storms under this administration. She has never uh, contributed anything to any of these efforts. And so what I think is selfish she ever is her trying before? to blunder into this. No. And here's has the she thing. Ever called before? She has no role. No, she has no role in this process. Uh, I'm in contact with the president of the United States. I'm in contact with FEMA director. I'm obviously managing all our state agencies. We're supporting all our local government. And I will say this. I've had storms under both President Trump and President Biden, uh, and I've worked well with both of them. She's the first one who's trying to politicize the storm, and she's doing that just because of her campaign. She's trying to get some type of an edge. She knows she's, she's doing poorly and so she's playing these political games. I don't have time for political games. I've got people whose lives are on the line. I've got people whose homes and their possessions are on the line. And we are focused 100 percent on that mission. I'm not worried about playing her political games. And so she is being selfish by trying to blunder into this when we're working just fine. Yeah, so there you have it. I mean, at this point in time, guys, it's really kind of quite clear on how Kamala Harris is and how she's treating this whole situation and trying to make sure that she's better in the polls. Hey, look, let's be honest here. Uh, in most scenarios, I have never seen to where a VP was oh, contacting a governor or whatever governor during a natural disaster per se when it comes to things like this. Um, she never contacted him from what I could tell or did said anything like Ron DeSantis said, in the past few years that has been part of this whole, during these hurricanes, right? She hasn't been anything. And to make things perfectly clear here, guys, uh, she doesn't, he doesn't have to answer to her anyway. She's the VP. He answers the president. That's what he's been doing is answering to the president. And that's what should matter in working with FEMA. So that being said, it's just kind of weird that she is just trying to interject herself and to make this thing a bigger political stance and then ruining her actual image of herself and how untruthful she's doing doing just to make sure she can win the campaign. It's quite disgusting, really. Uh, I really try to not make things like hurricanes and stuff like that political, especially when lives, lives have been lost like it has. It's really quite disgusting, and these people need to understand that. Kamala Harris needs to understand that you just don't do this. And the fact that she's made this political is quite disgusting. There's quite a bit other stuff that I'm going to want to get into, but... I don't even know if I can today, but guys, it's insane, but we skip this. we see on who Kamala Harris really is, the type of person that she tries to be, and uh, what have you, and it isn't a good look. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, guys, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted because it's algorithmic disease, the social media.